dear students, I am Dr. Ramchandra Murthy from MS Ramaya Institute of Technology, Bangalore. <coughs> if you recollect what has been done in the last class, <coughs> we defined very important operator called del operator <coughs> and the three associated quantities curl, divergence, gradient and another operator Laplacian. So, if you recollect I defined the del operator delta or del as i dou by dou x plus j dou by dou y plus k dou by dou z. Okay. If phi is a scalar differentiable scalar field differentiable scalar field, then we defined gradient del phi as i dou phi by dou x plus j dou phi by dou y plus k dou phi by dou z. <coughs> if vector v is a differentiable vector field with components let us say v 1 i plus v 2 j plus v 3 k <coughs> differentiable vector field differentiable vector field vector field then we define divergence see? dive of v or this is also written as del dot v as dou v 1 by dou x plus dou v 2 by dou y plus dou <coughs> v 3 by dou z. Then for the same differentiable vector field v, we defined curl, curl of v or del cross v as the determinant i j k, the second row partial derivatives with respect to x, with respect to y, with respect to z and the third row the components of V, V1, V2, V3. Though this is similar to the evaluation of determinant, <coughs> we have to be very careful when we operate dou by dou y on V3. We have to differentiate V3 partially with respect to y minus V2 partially with respect to z. Similarly, <coughs> lay out this column and this row j cap into differentiate v 3 partially with respect to x minus differentiate v 1 partially with respect to z. Similarly, k cap into differentiate partially with respect to x v 2 minus and so on. And also we define another important Laplacian del square and also we proved that this is equal to dou square by dou x square plus dou square by dou y square plus dou square by dou z square. We also considered some problems on this and we shall continue with the problems. So, look at this problem, <coughs> problem 1. If f is a vector defined as e power x into y into z into i cap plus j cap plus k cap that is e power x y z i cap plus e power x y z j cap plus e power x y z k cap then find divergence of this vector field and curl of this vector field. So, what is given here is vector f is given vector f e power x into y into z into i cap plus j cap plus k cap. So, this is written as e power x y z i cap plus e power x y z j cap plus e power x y z k cap. So, this is a vector now. So, let us operate divergence on this. So, divergence of vector f or del dot vector f is dou by dou x of e power x into y into z plus <coughs> dou by dou y of e power x into 
y into z plus dou by dou z of e power x into y into z. So, we have to differentiate partially with respect to x with respect to y with respect to z keeping the other two variables constant. So, with respect to x y z is constant. So, e power x into y into z into partial differentiation of x into y into z with respect to x will give you y into z. Similarly, <coughs> e power x into y into z with respect to y x z are constant. So, partial differentiation of x into y into z with respect to y will give you x into z. Similarly, here with respect to z e power x into y into z x is constant uh, x and y are constant. So, partial differentiation of this with respect to z is x into y. So, this is equal to e power x into y into z times the common factor y z plus x z plus x y. Now, similarly, <coughs> a curl also can be operated on this. So, curl f or del cross f curl on the vector f or curl f is first you define what is curl for this vector i cap j cap k cap in the first row then all three partial derivatives in the second row this has to be written very clearly then f components e power x into y into z again e power x into y into z e power x into y into z. So, here we have to be very careful in multiplying here multiplication is differentiating partially with respect to that particular this what i cap leave this column and this row differentiate partially with respect to y. So, for the first column let us write this is dou by dou y of e power x into y into z minus dou by dou z <coughs> dou by dou z of e power x into y z close the bracket minus j cap j cap with respect to x partially now. So, dou by dou x of e power x into y into z minus dou by dou z of e power x into y into z close the bracket plus k cap plus k cap <coughs> with respect to x partially now dou by dou x of e power x into y into z minus dou by dou y of e power x into y into z close the bracket. So now, we have to carefully differentiate with respect to x, y, z partially and simplify. So, curl f for this problem i cap <coughs> with respect to y x z constant. So, this is e power x y z into x z minus with respect to z x y constant. So, e power x y z into x y minus j cap with respect to x y z constant. So, y z e power x y z into y z minus with respect to z x y constant. So, e power x y z into x y close the bracket then plus k cap third component here with respect to x y z constant. So, e power x y z y z minus with respect to y x z constant. So, e power x y z into x z. Okay. So, e power x y z is constant throughout. So, I can take it outside e power x into y z x z. So, what is left here x z minus x y. So, that can be written as x into z minus y i cap. Similarly, y z x y y is 
uh, common here. So, minus y z minus x then here z is common here. So, you can write this as into j cap into j cap plus z y minus x into z k cap. So, this is the answer to the problem 1. Okay. As you see the answer is this. Okay. Let me take this problem. <coughs> Prove that divergence of r square multiplied to gradient of or grad of <coughs> 1 by r cube is 0, <coughs> where r is the vector given by x i plus y j plus z k. Okay. In all these problems, careful writing the partial derivatives is very, very important. Okay. The problem is we have to find divergence of r square r square into grad 1 by r cube 1 by r cube is equal to 0. This is the result we have to establish r is given to be r is given to be x i plus y j plus z k. So, therefore, magnitude of this is root of x square plus y square plus z square. So, therefore, r square is x square plus y square plus z square. Then, we have established some of the result in the last class dou r by dou x is x by r, dou r by dou y is y by r, dou r by dou z is z by r. So, these results we have established in the last class, we have derived in fact. <coughs> okay. So, now let me first find gradient of 1 by r cube, then multiply r square to gradient of 1 by r cube, then take the divergence. So, gradient of or grad of 1 by r cube is i cap dou by dou x of 1 over r cube plus j dou by dou y of 1 over r cube plus k dou by dou z of 1 over r cube. Okay. This is the expansion of grad of 1 by r cube. Now, remember r is function of both x, y, z. So, when you differentiate this with respect to x, what happens here? So, this is minus 3 divided by r power 4. So, differentiation of 1 by x cube minus 3 by x power 4. That is minus 3 by r power 4 into partial derivative of r with respect to x. Now, similarly, plus j cap minus 3 divided by r power 4 into dou r by dou y plus similarly the third term with respect to z minus 3 divided by r power 4 dou r by dou z. Let us substitute dou r by dou x for dou r by dou y and for dou r by dou z here. So, in that case, so this will be minus 3, okay, let me write like this only. So, i cap into minus 3 divided by r power 4 into x by r plus j cap minus 3 divided by r power 4 into y by r plus k minus 3 divided by r power 4 into z by r. Okay. So, further you can write this as minus 3 r power 5 divided by r power 5 into x i cap into x i cap minus 3 divided by r power 5 r power 5 r power 4 into r into y j cap minus 3 divided by r power 5 r power 5 into z k cap. So, let me check once again minus 3 r power 5 x i cap Okay, fine. Okay, so this is grad of 1 by r cube. Now, 
I have to multiply, I have determined only this much now. I have to multiply r square to this. So, therefore, r square, so therefore, r square into grad of 1 by r cube will be, okay, you multiply by r square here. So, what happens? This will become r cube, r cube, r cube. So, minus 3 divided by r cube into x i cap minus 3 divided by r cube into y j cap minus 3 divided by r cube into z k cap. Now, I have to operate I have to operate divergence on this. <coughs> so, divergence on this r square grad 1 by r cube will be uh, <coughs> minus 3, you can keep it outside now, minus 3, uh, x is a function of x, r cube is a function of x, y, z. So, dou by dou x of, so initially what, what, what is this divergence? dou by dou x of this, dou by dou y of this, dou by dou z of this. So, if you take 3 minus 3 outside, you get x divided by r cube minus plus dou by dou y of y divided by r cube plus dou by dou z of z divided by r cube. Close the bracket. Now, let us take the first term and similarly, we can write the other two terms, very simple. <coughs> now, let me consider dou by dou x of x divided by r cube. So, both are functions of x. So, we take the, we consider product rule here r cube whole square, r cube whole square. So, in the numerator, you have r cube into differentiation of x is 1 minus x into differentiation of r cube partially with respect to x. So, this is 3 r square into dou r by dou x. Okay. <coughs> so, further this is r cube minus 3 r square into x dou r by dou x is x by r dou r by dou x is x by r. So, divided by r cube whole square. So, let me simplify this. So, 1 r will go. So, we have r cube minus 3 r into x square 3 r into x square divided by r power 6. So, you can write this as r into r square you can take one more r here minus 3 x square divided by r power 6. So, 1 r you can cancel. So, this can be written as r square minus 3 x square divided by r power 5 r you can write this as 1 by r cube 1 by r cube r square divided by r power 5 minus 3 by r power 5 into x square 3 divided by r power 5 into x square. Now, similarly, now similarly other two terms dou by dou by of y divided by r cube will be 1 divided by r cube minus 3 y square divided by r power 5 and dou by dou z of z by r cube will be 1 divided by r cube minus 3 z square divided by r power 5. Okay. So, let me substitute here. That means, I have to add minus 3 into this plus this plus this. So, therefore, divergence of r square grad 1 by r cube 
is equal to minus 3 times. So, I have to add this term, this term, this term. So, if I add 1 by r cube plus 1 by r cube plus 1 by r cube. So, I get 3 divided by r cube. Then minus 3 by r power 5 into x square plus y square plus z square. So, this is 3 divided by r power 5 into x square plus y square plus z square close the bracket. So, this is minus 3 times 3 divided by r cube minus 3 divided by r power 5 and we know that x square plus y square plus z square is r square. So, this is 3 by r cube minus 3 by r cube is 0. So, minus 3 times 3 by r cube minus 3 by r cube is 0. Okay. So, let me consider this problem number 10. <coughs> Here show that the vector r power n into vector r is irrotational. So, as in the last class we have discussed that <coughs> if curl of a vector is 0 then we say it is irrotational, divergence of a vector if it is 0 we say solenoidal. Here <coughs> the vector r power n into r is irrotational for any constant n that means for any n it is 0, curl is 0, but solenoidal that means divergence is 0 only for n is equal to minus 3. So, this is the question here. So, r power n is a scalar quantity multiplied to a vector is a vector quantity. Okay, r power n into vector r. So, what is r? r is x i plus y j plus z k. Then all the results dou r by dou x is x by r and all these all the three results holds good here. Okay. <coughs> then r power n into vector r into vector r is r power n is multiplied to all these quantities r power n into x i cap plus r power n into y j cap r power n into z k cap. To show that it is irrotational for any value of n, I have to establish that curl of r power n into vector r is 0. Okay. Let me see what is the curl of this. So, curl of this vector r power n into r i as usual k the second row partial derivative with respect to x y with respect to z. Then components here r power n into x, r power n into y, r power n into z. <coughs> okay. So, expand this. So, i cap, i cap into operate on this. So, dou by dou by, dou by dou by operated on r power n z minus dou by dou z operated on r power n y minus j cap dou by dou x operated on r power n z minus dou by dou z operated on r power n into x plus k dou by dou x operated on r power n y minus dou by dou y operated on r power n x. Okay. Okay. So, now we shall differentiate partially with respect to x. Remember z is constant with respect to x, but r is function of both x, y, z. So, this will be n into r power 
n minus 1 into dou r by dou x into z minus similarly with respect to z y is constant. So, y is treated as constant. So, if you differentiate r power n n into r power n minus 1 into dou r by dou z into y minus j put a bracket with respect to n i x z is constant n into r power n minus 1 into dou r by dou x into z minus n into r power n minus 1 dou r by dou z into x plus k times with respect to x y is constant. So, n into r power n minus 1 dou r by dou x into y minus n into r power n minus 1 dou r by dou y dou r by dou y into x. Now, let us substitute for uh, x dou r by dou x dou r by dou y etcetera. So, this will be equal to i cap into. So, I can take n into r power n minus 1 throughout common it is in all the terms. So, n into r power n minus 1 you can put a bracket big bracket here ok. So, now dou r by dou x is x by r into z minus this I have taken outside dou r by dou z is z by r z by r into y minus j now well, this is with i cap j where is that ok minus this is x by r into z minus z by r into x plus k cap dou r by dou x that is x by r into y minus dou r by dou y by r y by r into x. So, this is uh, this should be z uh, and ok uh, y z. So, there is some mistake here. So, this this has to be y z by r it is shown here y z by r z by r. So, I can easily see this all these terms will get cancelled. So, this is equal to 0. Okay. So, r power n into r is uh, irrotational for any n and divergence is that is solenoidal only when r power n into r uh, on r power n when n is only minus 3. Okay. So, divergence is 0 only for n is equal to minus 3. Okay. So, this is dou by dou x of r power n into vector r vector r is x eh? x i what is okay r power n into x plus dou by dou y r power n into y plus dou by dou z r power n into z. Okay. Now, remember both are functions of x. So, n into r power n minus 1 into dou r by dou x into x plus r power n into 1. Similarly, n into r power n minus 1 into dou r by dou y into y plus differentiation of this y partial with respect to is 1. So, r power n plus similarly here n into r power n minus 1 dou r by dou z into z plus r power n. Now, let us substitute for dou r by dou x dou r by dou y dou r by dou z. So, n into r power n minus 1. So, this is x by r into another x plus r power n 
plus n into r power n minus 1 y by r into another y a plus r power n plus n into r power n minus 1. So, this is z by r into this z plus r power n. So, let us simplify this. <coughs> so, this is this can be written as n into r power n minus 1 divided by r x square same thing y square same thing z square. So, I can write this as x square plus y square plus z square plus r power n r power n another r power n. So, 3 r power n. So, this is r square. So, n into r power n minus 1 by r into r square plus 3 into r power n. So, if you simplify r power n minus 1 plus 1 is n r power n plus 3 r power n. So, this is n plus 3 r power n and this is 0 only when n is equal to minus 3. So, that means r power n into vector r is solenoidal only when n is equal to minus 3. So, this is equal to 0 for n is equal to minus 3. Okay. So, let me consider <coughs> problem number 12. Here find the constants a, b and c. So, that vector f defined as x squared minus a y z i cap plus y squared minus b z x j cap plus z square minus c x y k cap is irrotational. So, we have to find for what values of a, b and c like in the previous problem for n is equal to minus 3 it is solenoidal. So, here in this problem <coughs> what are the values or for what values of a, b, c that makes f irrotational curl is 0. So, we shall start like this we will assume first it is irrotational that means, curl f is equal to 0. So, we get a equation expression involving a b c and we shall solve that equation to find the uh, values of a b c. Okay. So, given vector x square minus a y z x square minus a y z i cap y square minus b z x plus y square minus b z x j cap plus z square minus c x y plus z square minus c x y k cap. So, this is the vector x square minus a y z y square minus b z x z square minus x ok it is fine. So, let f be irrotational let us assume first it is irrotational then we will find the constants a b c from that expression. <coughs> so, therefore, curl of this is 0 that is that is curl i cap j cap k cap all partial derivatives in the second row the first component x square minus a y z you have to write this properly y square minus b z x b z x then z square minus c x y okay. equal to 0 uh, curl is made 0 we, are, we have assumed like that. So, now <coughs> so i cap into into differentiate partially with respect to and once for all you partially differentiate and then write down. So, z is constant that is 0 minus with respect to y c x is constant. So, c x into 1 so minus c x minus the lower limit sorry minus this quantity now. So, with respect to z y is constant 0 minus there is only z here. So, this is minus b z b x 
minus b x minus j differentiate partially with respect to x again that is constant 0 with respect to s if we differentiate you get c y minus c y minus with respect to z x is constant. So, this is 0, 0 minus with respect to z is minus a y. So, minus a y plus k uh, with respect to x y is constant 0 minus b z. So, minus b z minus with respect to y x is constant. So, with respect to y minus a z. So, minus a z equal to 0. So, let me simplify this first i cap into this is plus b x minus c x. So, plus b minus c x over here plus b x minus c x. So, b minus c into ti, uh, x i cap minus j cap here plus a y minus c y. So, a minus c y and similarly here plus a z minus b z. So, plus a minus b z uh, equal to 0. So, this gives rise to 3 equations now b minus c is equal to 0. This is possible only when b minus c is equal to 0, a minus c is equal to 0, a minus b is equal to 0. So, this implies b minus c is equal to 0, a minus c is equal to 0, a minus b is equal to 0. So, from the first equation b is equal to c or c is equal to b. So, substitute here. So, then these two equations becomes a minus b equal to 0 reduces us to single equation in two unknowns c is equal to b. So, a minus b is equal to 0 another a minus b is equal to 0. So, this gives rise to infinite number of solutions. Suppose I fix a is equal to k b is equal to k. Okay. So, let a and b is equal to k k minus k is equal to 0 it satisfies you put any value k it satisfies. So, infinite number of values of k can be chosen when a is equal to b and is equal to k that is b is equal to k c is equal to k. Okay. So, c is equal to k that means, the values of a b c are all equal to k and if k happens to be any number then <coughs> that means, f is solenoidal for any value of k okay. f is solenoidal infinite number of solutions. So, f is solenoidal that is divergence of f is equal to 0 for any value of k. You have infinite number of values of k for all those values you get divergence is 0. So, this is again another similar problem find the value of the constant a <coughs> so that the vector field f given by f is equal to vector f is equal to y times a x square plus z i cap plus x times y square minus z square j cap plus 2 x y into z minus x y k cap is solenoidal. This is a very simple uh, <coughs> problem f is given and for there is a here only in the first component i component a is there for what value of this number a this f becomes e solenoidal that means divergence of f is 0. Okay. Like in the previous problem we assume to find a b c so that f is uh, irrotational. Let us assume f b f is solenoidal in the beginning initially that is divergence f is equal to 0 you know the definition of divergence uh, on a vector dou by dou x of this entire thing y times a x square plus z plus dou by dou y of this entire thing x times a y square minus x uh, z squared plus dou by z, dou z of this entire thing 2 x y into z minus x y equal to 0. 
So, we assumed f is sun idle that means divergence of f is 0, f is 0. So, we try to differentiate partially with respect to s very carefully with respect to y here, with respect to z here. So, with respect to x if you differentiate partially there is x only in this place. So, y a x square plus y a y z is the expansion of this. So, there is no x term here. So, partial derivative of this quantity is 0. So, when you differentiate partially with respect to x you get 2 x multiplied to a y that is 2 a x y 2 a x y plus 0 coming from this term. Similarly, second term with respect to y there is no y here x into y square minus x into z square. So, you can differentiate only partially with respect to y here and this is with respect to y 0 because x into z square is constant with respect to y. So, if you differentiate partially with respect to y, you get 2y here multiplied to x, 2yx that is 2xy. And similarly, here the third term uh, there is z only here and this is x into y. So, 2x square y square constant with respect to z. So, when you differentiate partially, you can differentiate only the first term 2xyz that means 2xy into 1 minus 0, 2xy. So, you get 2xy here equated to 0 ok x y throughout common you can cancel out and 2 also common you can cancel out. So, I get a plus 1 plus 1 equal to 0 that is uh, a is a plus 2 is equal to 0. So, a is minus 2. So, for this value of a, a is equal to minus 2 this vector f is solenoidal. <coughs> Okay. Problem number 3 show that f cross g is solenoidal given f given g you take a cross product of that particularly for this f and for this j g and <coughs> when we operate divergence on that. So, it is 0. So, that means we have to show that if f is this vector g is vector show that f cross g is solenoidal that means show that divergence of f cross g is solenoidal. So, first we have to find the cross product of these two vectors f and g. So, f cross g is similar to our curl expansion, but only thing we will not have partial derivatives here i j k. Then coming from uh, uh, the, the second second row coming from f components of i j k x square y square z square x square y square z square. Similarly, third row coming from g that is y z z x x y y z z x x y. So, when you expand this here you can multiply because there is no differential operator here. So, i cap times y square that is y cube x x y cube minus x z cube x z cube into i cap. I can write this unit vectors either here or here does not make any difference minus j cap j cap into x square that is x cube into y x cube into y minus y z cube y z cube plus k cap into z x cube z x cube minus z y cube z y cube k cap ok. Now, let me operate divergence on this divergence of this vector f cross g is dou by dou x of this entire thing x y cube minus x z cube plus dou by dou y of this entire thing with negative sign minus uh, y x cube plus y z cube plus dou by dou z of this entire thing z x cube minus z y cube. So, when you differentiate partially with respect to x you get y cube here with respect to x minus z cube here with respect to y minus x cube here with respect to y again plus z cube here with respect to z x cube into 1 because x cube is constant with respect to z. Uh, you get x cube here minus with respect to z again 1 into y cube y cube here. So, you can easily see this y cube plus y cube minus y cube plus x cube minus x cube plus z cube minus x cube. So, it turns out to be 0. So, f cross g is solenoidal. So, find the <coughs> curl of the vector. So, f is given we have to find only the curl. So, similar question we have already done this. 
So, quickly we can look at this curl F definition is this i j k all partial derivatives the second row. The third row or components of F v 1 x y z square plus x y x y square z plus x square y z. So, we operate we expand this one the so, i cap into partial derivative of this with respect to this minus partial derivative of this with respect to this i cap minus j partial derivative of this with respect to this x minus with respect to z is written here j cap plus partial derivative of this with respect to x minus partial derivative of this with respect to y it is written here. So, this is equal to now we have to differentiate partially carefully you have to do it. So, there is only y here uh, x square z constant with respect to y. So, x square z into differentiation of y partially with respect to is 1. So, x square z is written here minus similarly with respect to z you get x y square here x y square minus with respect to x this is 2 x y z minus with respect to z again 2 x y z. So, 2 x y z minus 2 x y z plus with respect to x y square z minus with respect to y x z square x z square k cap. So, we simplify. So, this is 0 j cap this is as it is x square z minus x y square i cap plus this is 0 these two are same with the difference in sign 0 j plus y square z minus x z square k cap. Okay. So, here in this problem given f show that f dot curl f equal to 0 that means, we have to find curl on this vector first and take the dot product of f with this curl. So, we find curl first curl of f is equal to the same definition so, you write the components of f x plus y plus 1 and 1 here and minus x plus y that is minus x minus y it is written here. So, once again we expand like this i cap into differentiation of a minus x minus y partially with respect to y minus partially differentiating 1 with respect to that is constant 0 i cap minus j uh, <coughs> differentiating this partially with respect to x minus differentiating this partially with respect to z j cap plus differentiating 1 partially with respect to x minus differentiating x plus y plus 1 partially with respect to y k cap. Okay. When we differentiate partially with respect to a y this one uh, x is constant with respect to y that is 0 minus 1. So, minus 1 minus differentiation of a constant is 0. So, 0 i cap minus if you differentiate partially with respect to x you get minus 1 minus that is minus 1 minus with respect to z there is no z term at all all are constant with respect to z. So, you get 0 j cap <coughs> plus differentiating partially 1 with respect that is constant it is 0 0 minus with respect to y with respect to y there is only one y here so minus 1 so minus 1. So, you get minus i cap plus minus j cap plus j cap here minus 1 into minus that is plus j cap then minus k cap. So, we have to take dot product of f this is the curl f curl of that particular vector f. Now, I have to take dot product f dot curl f this vector dot this one. How do we take uh, the dot product component wise a 1 b 1 plus a 2 b 2 plus a 3 b 3 this is a 1 if this is a 1 this is a 2 this is uh, uh, a 3 and if you uh, treat this as b 1 b 2 b 3. So, dot product is a 1 b 1 plus a 2 b 2 plus a 3 b 3. So, here minus 1 into x plus y plus 1 plus 1 into 1 minus 1 into x plus y that is minus of x minus, uh, minus of x plus y. So, when we expand this we get all these terms will get cancelled you get f dot curl f 0. So, this is a problem like finding twice the curl given f find curl curl f. 
So, first we have to find curl of this vector. So, we get a uh, usual definition as explained earlier this is the curl f again we take curl on this because this is a vector curl is a vector curl of a vector is a vector. So, we write all these components here once again and we operate once again curl on this and when we simplify we get minus 12 x square z i cap plus 6 x minus 6 x z j cap plus 12 x z square k cap. So, this is like first you have to operate grad on a scalar you get a vector that is given by f and find divergence of f at 1 comma 2 comma 3. So, what we do here we operate grad on this scalar we get a vector <coughs> we take divergence on this and when we take divergence on this we have done similar problems earlier. So, this is the divergence we get with x y z. So, at 1 comma 2 comma 3 means put x is equal to 1, y is equal to 2, z is equal to 3 in this expression. So, at 1 comma 2 comma 3 divergence of f is if you simplify carefully we get minus 32 as the answer. So, this is another problem if v is w cross r where w is a constant vector show that w constant vector is off of the curl of this vector v. Okay. So, we have to assume <coughs> constant vector w as w 1 i cap plus w 2 j cap plus w 3 k cap as a constant vector and r is a vector x i plus y j plus z k. We have to take the cross product like in the previous process uh, one of the problem cons considered earlier a cross b f cross g then show that f cross g is solenoidal a similar kind of exercise here. First you find cross product of this w and r w cross r you get a vector cross product vector is a vector. Then operate curl on this when you operate curl you get <coughs> this expression <coughs> you get this expression after uh, differentiating partially carefully and rearranging the terms. So, this is nothing but twice w 1 i twice w 2 j twice w 3 k that is twice w 1 i cap w 2 j cap w 3 k cap. So, this is nothing but our assumed uh, the constant vector what is given w. So, 2 into vector w. So, if you simplify w is 1 by 2 times curl of the vector v. Okay. 